Look at old Douglas. But uh, what, what kind of hair is that? But regardless, today finally getting into the College Dynasty mode here on Maximum Football 2019. Look at that dorm room, dude. All the trophies already gets me so freaking hyped. If you guys already missed the video earlier today, the first video today kind of explains what this game is and video number two shows you the gameplay. You guys have been like yelling at me to get into the Dynasty mode. So here we are going to get into the College Dynasty mode to show you guys what it's all about, what all it entails. And also, I might play a College Dynasty game, see if the Dynasty game mode in terms of the gameplay is any different than the regular head-to-head -head game mode. But guys, hopefully you are enjoying the Doug Flutie Maximum Football 2019 content. And if you are, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you are new so you don't miss any uploads on the channel. Make sure to turn on that notification bell as well. And depending on how the support is on these first few videos, we might actually attempt to start a College Dynasty series on the channel. Create new Dynasty. Now, what team are we going to use? So, obviously, it's going to be U.S. College format. As guys, you can play Canadian College format as well. But uh, obviously, we're going to stick with U.S. College. Base rule set, U.S. College. Quarter length, we're gonna we're just going to do three minutes. If you guys watched the gameplay earlier, even five-minute quarters take absolutely forever. Difficulty level, we'll, we'll stick on normal. I mean, normal seems sort of easy, but we'll, I don't know how hard hard it is. So we'll just stay on normal for now. Play clock length will be 30 seconds. As actually, yeah, we'll, we'll do 30 seconds. Well, no, let's make it 20 seconds. Maybe that'll make the game go by a little bit quicker. Snap on waggle. This is for like the Canadian league rules, so it really doesn't matter. So we'll just turn it off. Catch modifier, we'll put it at like 87 and referee style. We'll have fair. God dang it. I, I didn't mean to pick North Cincinnati. As from here, we could go ahead and just completely customize the team. Or no, here's where you pick the team. Okay, bet. So we have New York Academy, Okanogan, Oklahoma Capital, Oklahoma City, Old North Folk, Omaha, Orlando Swarm, Oxford Deer, Palm Beach Blaze, Pennsylvania Silverback, Heora Fighting Foxes, Philadelphia Dragons, Rayleigh Freedom. If you guys haven't noticed yet, a lot of of the like it's it's basically the like say this Rayleigh State Rayleigh obviously is North Carolina Tar Heels and Rayleigh State is North Carolina State so it's like the colleges just without the license and they can't obviously have the same exact mascot it's basically like the real NCAA colleges just with a knockoff like Reno this is the Nevada Wolfpack but it's the Reno Rats Richmond I, I what's cool this is Virginia I believe but they believe this is Virginia but it's the Richmond Tigers like the Tuscaloosa Pride obviously University of Alabama I'm sure they probably have a Auburn. This is going to be Baylor. Like, it's all, like, this the same colors of all the real colleges. Athens, this is supposed to be the Georgia Bulldogs. Atlanta State, I think that's Georgia State. Austin, this is obviously Texas. LSU, obviously, Baton Rouge. And you get, guys get the point. Lower Alabama. Oh, it's, it's, this is supposed to be South Alabama, my college. I thought they had Mobile, though. They do have Mobile. Who the heck is this? This can't be South Alabama. I don't know what college this is supposed to be. So with that, I want to go ahead and customize Lower Alabama, but that's not what we're going to be called. We're going to be called simply South. We're going to be called South. What logo do I want to go with? Is there any type of duck? I have, I have a team idea. This sort of reminds me of the UGF Pandas. I'm looking for a duck. Does anybody see a freaking duck? And by the way, if you're wondering, this isn't the only logos you can use. These are just the pre-made logos. You can make whatever logos you want to from the logo editor at the main menu. These are just the pre-made ones to make things a little bit easier. I don't think I'm going to make a logo today because I'm, I'm not artistic at all. I was looking for a duck, and I haven't seen a duck. There's got to be a duck somewhere. Duck. Duck. I finally found the duck. Oh, the ducks. I'm so happy, dude. I'm so freaking happy. As team name, going to be the Battle Ducks. It's the team I made back in NCAA back when I was in high school. Was the Mobile Battle Ducks. As our team abbreviation, although it has nothing to do with the South Battle Ducks, is BBC. I'm so confused, dude. Why can't it, like, just let me actually pick the color opposed to, like, putting... Uh, that's just so confusing, dude. I, I don't freaking know. As which stadium is this? I mean, I don't know which is which. As I guess we just picked, do we pick Modern 3? I mean, I wish I knew what they looked like, but... The South Battle Ducks out of Mobile, Alabama. 2019, we were established. Looks good enough for me. I'm so confused. We're back here. But, like, how do I actually select them as my team? There we go. Finally, I can figure out how the heck to find my team. 
So we've got to be somewhere here. Why, why can't I use that logo? That logo looks so much better. South Battle Ducks. Last year, we were ranked 126 in the country. The Sunshine Conference. Last year, we were 1 and 11. There's the freaking duck I was looking for in the first place. That's who I want. That's the duck I want. Screw the freaking colors, dude. We can completely customize the uniforms as well. We can make the logo bigger too on the helmet. The battle duck's looking great. I just don't like the color, man. Why can't you just let me pick the color from like a wheel or something? I gotta like mix paint together technically here. I feel like I'm a freaking painter right now, dude. I just <laughs> telling you I feel like a freaking artist right now. It's, it's so, it's so freaking confusing. Oh, uh, here we go with this crap again, man. Oh, this is so hard. I just want to be able to pick from a wheel or something. As I'm not going to lie, this is why you don't have me try to create art. It might be the ugliest uniform I've ever seen in my life. I just, the hardest part about this is honestly just getting the right freaking colors in each time. What you could like copy or paste. I mean, it is cool that you can customize all this. It's just... A little bit more difficult than what it needs to be. Like, dude, I keep forgetting how to create yellow, man. This is just not the easiest thing to do. All right, that's enough for me from now. Here is our away uniforms looking quite beautiful. I think it is cool how you can customize exactly what it says on the jersey. That's our away uniform. Here is our home uniform. Very, very fashionable, I must say. Now let's check out our school. How's our school look? Oh, God, literally everything's extremely low degree reputation can't miss atmosphere coaching resume coaching reputation conference power playoff potential training facilities fandom pro development consistency of success school tradition and media spotlight so recruiting priorities god dang we pretty much need everything on our roster how many quarterbacks do we have we have a 56 overall quarterback how many other quarterbacks do we have a 55 a 63 overall quarterback a 56 and a 60, we have a lot of quarterbacks, but they all freaking suck. Well, the whole depth chart seems a little buggy. So if you get this game, you definitely want to look at your depth chart because a lot of my best overall players aren't actually playing. Like, we have a 82 overall player, not actually playing for us, Baliga. We'll swap him, he's 6'7". Top 100, the Field Steel's top 100 prospects. This guy, he does not use social media. Looks like he has Tuscaloosa. Who is Mobile? I wonder who Mobile is. But he's from Clearwater, Florida. Number one DB in the country. Looks like he wants. he's going to either Alabama, over Mobile is, or Western Carolina. I think that that's the, supposed to be Clemson. The number one quarterback in the country. His father and two older brothers play slash played in the pro. So that's sick. From Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. So more than likely, we, we won't be able to try to recruit him. I don't think you can actually, you can target the guys from here too. Actually seems like there's not too many. Why is this even, why, why is this a thing? His, his favorite, Zaire Nora, an offensive lineman from Terrell, Texas, seventh ranked player in the country's favorite hobby is baking pies. Yes, I love it. And why is it, it's like half the players only want to go to Alabama. I, I'm guessing that's Auburn or Western Carolina. It's like, that. That's why, why are they the only three schools that pop up? Finally, Boston Catholic pops up on this guy. I just got to read through some of these freaking things. Trip Borner has seen every superhero comic movie, likes to co-play, dressed as a teddy bear. Dude, what, what does that even mean? Like, what is this? His mom is a news anchor on television, is a young playbook guru, Tiandre Hummins. His family owned a gas station in the town he grew up. Favorite hobby is scuba diving. Afraid of water and heights. Rarely finishes conditioning. Kept his teammates' morale high, so that's a solid one. Views his football career strictly business. Boom, Serafino. What a guy. Does 600 sit-ups per day. Always looking for a fight. I don't know about Detorian Riper. Heil Twyman will fight for those he cares about. Doesn't take a playoff. Lilian Jeffrey. Sanchez Baharke. Hey, <laughs> dude. Dude, what? What the heck are these names? Mookie Kegel, Toronto Banther, Raymond Patman, Hogan Buche, Jabori Zerk, Todney, Tuse, Trad Mc Can we just get like Phil or like Carl or something? Aka Cedric Kinsele. So you can redshirt players as well. I just wish it would like show me all the quarterbacks at once. Malachi Cora, two star from Theodore, Alabama. Theodore is actually a town in Mobile. He prefers to exercise on monkey bars during workouts. Let's go, Malachi. So we scouted him to our board. If you go into preseason recruiting, 
Let's see. If Malachi Cora, he, he's interested in Colorado Springs, Cleveland, and Alabama. Although I don't think Alabama's going to take a two-star quarterback. So sorry, Coach, you can't call prospects during this part of the season. Okay. Guam. Why is Guam an option? Like, who recruits players from Guam? What's the, you have Maine. Like, Guam is just so freaking random, bro. Freaking Guam. And that is, that's it. Alberta, so you can get some players from Canada as well. Let's start a regular season. I mean, I, I, I'm guessing we can start to recruit later. But I'm just trying to learn what this dynasty mode is actually all freaking about. So let's look at our schedule. What schedule? Who do we play this year? So I guess we can't actually search by our school schedule. We played the Rusting Grapplers week number one. So you can simulate the game if you wanted to. There's no top 25 poll or anything. That's, that's a little disappointing. But hey, at least we can recruit. I literally, though, don't see one player in the entire state of Alabama that is interested in me. And you can only see their top three schools that they are interested in. Which is a little unfortunate, but if we go out, let's just let's look at our recruiting board. Do we add players? I thought we were added like, guys from freaking like Canada or something. But Malachi Cora, let's see what we can do with him. What's your move here, coach? We can call the player, have an assistant call the player, send a text, or take the player off the board. Let's call him. Let's call Malachi. So he's close to home. So that's the one thing that we could actually try to pitch to him. So he's sort of interested in us. We'll go ahead and we'll offer him a scholarship. See what he says. He's interested in us now. Malachi, come on. Come to the South Battle Ducks. So let's pitch this to him. How do you want to pitch close to home? Unlock interest. So his school rank is good. He's interested in being close to home. So let's hard sell our prospect. So he's always oh, extremely interested in us. Now, can you do it again? I'd love to keep talking, but my cat has a vet appointment. The player hung up. Like, what is this stuff, dude? Like, it is so funny. So you had the National Athletic Conference, as I wish I could scroll over and see who else in that conference, but you can't. The Athletic Shore Conference, which I'm thinking this is the ACC. Big Southwest Conference, I'm guessing this is the Big 12. Big North, Columbus, so this is definitely going to be Ohio State. Stars and Stripes, I think this is the CUSA because, yeah, Hattiesburg, Southern Miss, unaffiliated, so this is obviously the independent schools. I don't know which one, Indiana Catholic, I think that's Notre Dame for sure. Midwest Conference, this is the MAC. Rocky Mountain Conference, this is the Mountain West. Big Pacific Conference, going to be the Pac-12. Super South, this is, this is, is this the AAC? I'm thinking that's the AAC. Is there a Orlando? There's a Mobile and Tuscaloosa. Oh, no, this is the SEC. Okay, for sure. SEC. Now, the Sunshine Conference, this is the Sun Belt, which we are in. Now, I don't see anybody ranked in the top 25 poll, so I'm guessing that's the one thing we are missing, a top 25 poll. But, hey, South Battle Ducks versus Rusting Grapplers. Let's just play a game. Can we simulate the other games? Can we, like, simulate a game like Tuscaloosa? Tuscaloosa Pride versus Central Kentucky Broncos. So, can we simulate this game? We simulated this game. And let's see if Tuscaloosa ended up losing that game. Tuscaloosa lost to Central Kentucky, huh? Interesting, huh? So, actually, you know what? Let's sim this game. Let's sim this game against the Rusting Grapplers and see if we can win week number two. So, we won 14 to nothing? Let's freaking go! Let's freaking go, dude! So, simulate remainder of the week. Oh god, dude, it has, to, it has to simulate every single game individually, so the simulation is, is going to take a hot freaking minute. So I'm actually just now realizing that the conferences have ranks on here, like what is the toughest conference and so on and so forth. But it's funny because in our conference, we're like one of the worst in the entire country. We're the, like, I think we are the dead last co uh, conference in the whole entire game. And almost every single one of our teams won. But look in the Super South Conference, the number one conference in the league. More than half the teams lost. Look at the freaking score. So apparently offense isn't, isn't uh, too prominent in the simulations. I think the highest scoring team looks like they got 17 points. So Utah Christian Freeze. Which is, I'm guessing that's BYU, but Jesus Christ, dude, what a powerhouse. So with that said, we, we are going to jump into a game, I guess try and break the uh, all-time scoring record for an entire season of one game against the Oklahoma Capital Fox. 
But let's just see, let's just see what this is like. So this is, I guess, how you see the rankings, unless I'm completely missing something. We're the 17th ranked team in the country now. They're number 56. Although they're a higher overall team, I don't freaking know. Let's try to get a win. Come on, please! No! You've got to be eaten off my nipple, dude. There's no freaking way Norton caught that. Please. Wide open! Dude, where's the coverage? Come on, Battle Ducks! The running back? Okay, he's wide open. Can you catch the ball, man? Come on, a sack. We got a sack. Kyle goes down. Candell with the sack. Big number 69. Can we complete a freaking pass, dude? Please. Can you catch the ball? Can you catch it? I beg! Okay, so he's so open. Please. Tringle. Thank you so much for catching a freaking football. There's a fourth down and three, though. I, I think I'm just going to go for it. Like, why not? Like, what is my life going to lose if I don't? As it's easy money to blows. What a guy. Michael Vick in the flesh. X is so open. Please. He caught it. One fast young Padawan. And Durl. I'm guessing that was a touchdown. Not much of a touchdown celebration. But this should be up. It is good. 7-10, to the comeback's on, Mr. Pagley. I'm telling you, the streaks are too overpowered, dude. Anderil, or Anderil, where did I get Anderil from? That's a touchdown. Um, I'll take it. Come on, bow. Can you bow? Bow. Hurry. Do something. There he is, the bow. If we could finish off this gameplay with a sack and a safety, I would be a happy human being. As the motion in this game's a little, a little glitchy yourselves. It is. There it is. The safety. Ha <laughs> ha. Thinker. Ha <laughs> ha. He thinked you, that's for sure. As some players have been suspended for discipline reasons and so on and so forth, failing academic requirements. But I wish I could actually like see what teams those were. It's just the Broncos and Monarchs in Nashville. I just I just wish I could actually click on that and see the players and stuff like that. But anyways, and also I just wish I could see like is there something I'm missing? I feel there should be a top twenty five ranking somewhere, but I, I don't see it anywhere. But what I do want to do is just finish this out by going into the schedule and seeing if we can beat that team as it does have the... That's a cool feature that when, once you quit the game, the 17-10 to 10 progress is still there. So if you simulate the rest of the game, we ended up winning 17 to nothing. So Jesus Christ, dude. So if we simulate, let's try to simulate the rest of this week and see what our ranking is as let's see we've yet to allow a point all season long dude we are such a powerhouse as we have to play west texas let's just see what our ranking is to end off the video if we play this game we can see our ranking we are going to be ranked number 10 in the country what a team what a life as let me know what you guys think about this dynasty mode in the comment section below let me know if you want to see anything else on this game I mean, it all depends on the support we get, rather or not if we get a series going, but we'll, we'll have to see. Hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on the notification bell if you haven't. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless. Peace.